Here's a question for you. What do you think is the deadliest animal in the world? From creatures with rows of sharp teeth, to beasts that weigh thousands of pounds, to practically invisible aquatic animals, to disease-carrying insects. Which do you think kills the most number of humans? Welcome to Nation of WOW TV. From small bugs to cute but deadly amphibians, today we'll be counting down the top 10 deadliest animals and where to find them. Can you guess what our top pick is? And no, sharks, lions, and humans aren't on the list. We'll start in Africa, which is full of deadly animals. Among the top are the Cape Buffaloes. It's also called African Buffalo and Black Death because it kills more big game hunters than the other animals in the continent. Imagine a 2,000 pound beast running toward you at 40 miles an hour. If that isn't scary enough, remember the buffaloes will not be alone because they always travel in herds. So imagine hundreds of buffaloes rushing at you. If you can't call that deadly, we don't know what will. To amp up the deadly meter, a cape buffalo will be even more aggressive if it's hurt or when a calf is attacked. It will keep on charging at its prey, even if its heart has been shot. It doesn't care what it will fight. It's been known to ram at vehicles and to pick fights even with lions. There are many poisonous frogs, but the golden poison dart takes the top spot. It lives in the rainforests of the northern part of South America. This frog may look cute and cuddly with its brightly colored skin. It grows only up to one to two inches. That's just the size of a paperclip. Their coloring ranges from yellow, orange, and pale green. But don't let its looks fool you. Just two micrograms of this amphibian's poison are lethal. One frog contains enough poison to kill 10 grown humans. What's worse is that its poison glands are found underneath its skin. So if you touch it, you're dead. Its name is based on the fact that the Embera, indigenous people of Colombia, have been lacing the tips of their blowgun darts with this frog's poison for centuries when they go hunting. Deforestation has put the golden poison dart frogs on the international endangered lists, but there are still plenty hopping around in their home forests. If you're hiking in Southern America, be careful where you put your foot down or what you touch. Crocodiles have been around since the time of the dinosaurs. They can be found in many parts of the world, from Asia, Australia, and the Americas. But we'll focus again on Africa, particularly the Nile River, and the rivers of Madagascar, where the Nile crocodile lives. The Nile croc can grow up to 20 feet and weigh 1,650 pounds. Contrary to popular belief, crocodiles don't actively hunt humans. They're just opportunistic and indiscriminate eaters, so anything that enters their territories are fair game. From migrating wildebeests to unsuspecting humans, crocodiles will chomp on them without care when they're hungry. The Nile crocodile in particular is infamous for being a vicious man-eater. Some of them are just wary of other beings in their territories. So with their sharp hearing as guide, they'll attack both humans and beasts. Crocs annually kill about a thousand humans worldwide, and estimates show that the Nile crocodile kills about 200 each year. Although some stats say this could be higher, they attack twice as much as that. This kill count is higher than sharks. Let's move on to Australia and the Philippines, which have some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. But these countries' seas and oceans also contain plenty of deadly animals. One of these is the box jellyfish. Imagine a nearly transparent box-like creature floating lazily and glowing white against a deep blue ocean. Now, stop staring and swim as fast as you can, far away from it. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has named the box jellyfish as the most venomous marine creature in the world. This jellyfish has 15 tentacles that can grow as long as 10 feet, and each tentacle has thousands of stingers, which contain venom that can kill within two to five minutes. 
there is an antidote for the toxin. But many swimmers immediately go into shock and drown or die of a heart attack after being stung. If you manage to get the antidote, you might experience pain and scars for weeks after your accident. The Death Stalker. What else can you expect from the scorpion but pain and death? Found in Africa and the Middle East, this creature is also called the Palestinian Yellow Scorpion based on its appearance. It lives in deserts where it hunts centipedes, earthworms, spiders, and get this, other scorpions. It burrows into the ground and even into houses where it can strike rapidly at its prey. Some scientists say that this scorpion makes up for its small size by injecting a large amount of poison to its prey so that its victim won't escape. The Deathstalker stinger contains neuro and cardiotoxins that aren't necessarily lethal to a healthy human adult, but one tiny sting means extreme pain for a victim. What makes the Deathstalker one of the most feared scorpions in the world, though, is that its venom kills a lot of children and is the cause of three-fourths of all scorpion-related deaths each year. We're halfway through. Here's a clue at our top choice. Can you guess what it is? For number five, we go back to Africa and look at a tiny bug, the tsetse fly. The tsetse fly is as small as a housefly, but it's like the vampire cousin of the ordinary housefly. It uses its large proboscis to saw through the skin and suck the blood of its victims. In return, it transmits the humans the sleeping sickness. If the victims don't get any treatment, the infection first shows as through fever, headaches, and aching muscles. Then they have trouble sleeping, are often tired, and can develop personality changes and poor body coordination. If the poison reaches the brain, it can swell and victims fall into a sleep they can never wake up from. About 30,000 people in Africa are bitten by the tsetse fly each year. Among these victims, about 10,000 die. But according to the latest info from the World Health Organization, deaths have dropped to 3,000 per year. The French have a popular dish called escargot. That's just their word for snails. But for our list, we're not talking about yummy snails here. We're talking about the cone snail, which you can find lurking in the sands of the Pacific Ocean. Just one drop of its toxic sting can kill 20 adult humans. Worse, there's no anti-venom yet. If you're stung, you won't feel anything, but you'll have a high probability of dying within minutes. This deadly snail hides in a beautiful shell, but unlike other snails, it's a predator. Once it senses prey, it uses a proboscis to inject its venom, which has pain-killing properties. The cone snail is also called cigarette snail because you'll only have the amount of time to smoke one cigarette before you go bye-bye. This small creature is said to cause about 10,000 deaths each year. Surprised to see man's best friend on this list? But even the pet from next door can become a furious, snarling beast when provoked. News on dog attacks is reported fairly often, with almost 4.5 million attacks happening worldwide each year. Victims are bitten or mauled. Death from bites is rare, but what makes Rover extra deadly is that it can infect humans with rabies. Rabies can be prevented through a vaccine. Although a lot of dogs are pampered pets who get anti-rabies shots, it's still a sad fact that there are millions of rabid, homeless, and abandoned dogs worldwide that carry the virus. A bite isn't the only way the virus can be transmitted. Even a scratch from an infected animal or a drop of saliva is deadly. According to the World Health Organization, over 59,000 people each year die from this infection. We're cheating a bit by lumping these creatures under an umbrella heading of snakes, but come on. Everybody knows that a lot of snakes are venomous. But let's discuss three really deadly snakes. First, the Inland Taipan. This snake is called by many other names, like the Western Taipan of Australia, the Fierce Snake, the most venomous snake in the world. Its names aren't just for show. This brown snake can kill 80% of its victims in 45 minutes. Talk about fast and deadly. Meanwhile, the Cobra of Africa and Southern Asia is probably the most recognizable snake in the world because of its hood. It doesn't take much to provoke a cobra, but once provoked, it strikes fast and even chases victims. Also, it can shoot its venom for up to six feet. Finally, the Black Mamba. Although it's not as venomous as the Inland Taipan, the Black Mamba is considered the deadliest snake in the world for several reasons. 
one, it's got the lethal mix of speed, aggressiveness, venom, and nervous character that kills even if it's not threatened. Next, its venom can kill within 20 minutes, and its kill count is higher than the Inland Taipan. And for our top pick, this little creature's name is the Spanish word for little fly. It's the mosquito. The majority of us find the small insect irritating, especially when all we want to do is sleep, but the little things keep buzzing around our heads. But stop for a bit. The mosquito can infect its victims with dengue fever, yellow fever, malaria, and encephalitis. World Health Organization data shows the mosquitoes kill about 725,000 people each year. What makes them the deadliest animals on the planet is their sheer number. Billions of mosquitoes threaten half of the world's population each day. One tiny prick could mean death. There you have it, our 10 deadliest animals list. And as a bonus, here's one more. According to the Guinness World Records, the most venomous spider in the world can be found in Australia. It's called the Sydney Funnel Web Spider, Atrax robustus. The male specifically has a venom that is lethal for all primates, which includes humans. The female funnel spider has less venom, but when you come across one, don't try to find out if it's male or female. Just run. Do you have a different top pick? Share your thoughts and don't forget to click the like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, you might want to check our next video, 10 Resurrection of Animals After Death.